Namaste, my kings and queens. I thank you so much for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a present. So it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I am sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity. Also health and wealth. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. And all that good-ish. I hope you guys are doing well today. This will be a daily reading for February 22nd, 2021 for the collective. Um, I did get a message for the collective, specifically Divine Feminines, but for the collective. I want you guys to continue doing whatever it is that you're doing, regardless of any accolades. Regardless if you're getting the applause, regardless if anybody is noticing, follow your bliss, stay on track with your journey and what you were placed here to do, your purpose, the vision God gave you, you stay on that path regardless, okay? It is often said that People don't really celebrate you until they see you being celebrated by others. You know, they don't they don't ride the wave when the current is low. They want to wait until you hit those high waves and then they want to hop on. Talking about some gnarly dude. No. No, because you wasn't with me when I was shooting in the gym, right? So, yeah, that was a channel message I got for the collective. Keep doing you. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't give up. Give yourself the accolades. Give yourself affirmation and confirmation and clarification that you're on the right track. Every small step, celebrate that, okay? All right, and let's hop in. All right, so we got community, we got attachment, and we got appreciation, period. So for me, this is letting me know that you're needed right now. You're needed right now in the community. For a lot of you, you will be known okay you will be sought after you will be admired okay now being in this energy you want to be careful of certain energy that tries to attach themselves to you okay that tries to cling on to your energy this is going back to that wave okay once people do start to see like oh okay she's up to something once people do start seeing certain individuals wanting to collaborate with you and wanting to work with you um certain individuals are going to want to attach their energy to you now this has to do with protecting your energy staying prayed up making sure that any negative entities or energy that try to come in will be blocked now, I have a feeling that a lot of you are protected and making sure that your energy is guarded when it comes to these type of um, blood-sucking energies that try to attach themselves. Then we have appreciation. A lot of you need to start being in the energy of appreciation, which I just said. There could be a certain type of energy trying to pull you down, trying to keep you down, trying to keep you in a stagnated energy. Um, but you're fighting through that or you will be, okay? At this time, you're going to stay or you need to stay in the energy of appreciation, gratitude, and fulfillment no matter what. I'm also getting an energy of your community needs you, okay, at this time. Um, if you are starting a new business or a new chapter in your life, 
I think that you should start right where you are. I also have the numbers here, seven, five, and 15. 15 breaks down to six, so we have five, six, seven. Synchronicity, stair steps, progression, okay? You guys are progressing when it comes to your business, your career, your love life, and your finances. I'm also getting a sense of progress, progression in regards to appreciation for yourself, appreciation for who you are, appreciation for where you are in your life at this time. Okay? Let's hop in with the tarot. I love this song. You know what? I really think it is. I really think it's the beat. And then it's her voice. Now, her lyrics are meh, meh. Um, but I like the way, I like the way she rides the beat. I love when an artist, their voice becomes an instrument. I mean, I, I like that. Um, but let's see what's going on here. Provide me clarification on the community card for the collective. Provide me clarification on this community card for the collective. I just got an energy to um, stiff arm, okay? Stiff joints, stiff muscles. All right, some of you um, maybe having some joint issues or feeling a little stiff, okay? You needing to loosen up a little bit. All right, we have the chariot, we have the eight of pentacles, and we have the ace of swords. Forward movement, okay? steadfast progression like i said um a lot of you are in the energy of um, taking the lead all right some of you could be dealing with a cancer or you are a cancer okay you are working hard towards an endeavor okay i feel like a lot of you guys did get an epiphany or an idea and you took charge okay you took action immediately all right i do see some traveling here for work Okay, but I do see that a lot of you may be getting messages from the divine. Visions, okay, are being being very clear to you. All right, clarity around um, clarity around gaining balance. Okay, um, I'm seeing here. I'm getting an energy of balancing your uh, masculine and feminine energy, all right? Embracing the feminine energy, though, for sure. But in order to get things done, I'm getting the energy of um, working in your masculine energy to get the job done here. What's the attachment? What's attachment here? I'm also feeling like... Um, there could be a cancer that's going to come around and give you some clarity or you're the one giving others clarity. Um, I feel like a lot of you will be uh, providing clarity to others through your actions. All right. Yeah, we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, forward movement. All right. Yeah, someone could be um, coming in and out of your life. All right. They don't stay for long, but I do feel like with this coming up on the attachment card, um, they're coming in to do just that, attach themselves. We have a four of wands here. This could be a love um, partner, um, a love interest, okay? Um, this person doesn't stay still. This person definitely leaves their mark, all right? Um, I'm also getting the energy of somebody working from home, all right? Starting their business from the space of their home. Um, yeah, then we have the Nine of Pentacles here. This could very much be a situation where 
you are wanting something more tangible, something that is built to last, okay? Where this person is providing flighty energy, though, because either you or someone else is in a Nine of Pentacles energy, okay? Very single, uh, um, self-sufficient, self-sufficient, independent, okay? I feel like a lot of you could be in the energy of, um, these commercials really get on my nerves, oh my goodness, um, really being the energy of cultivating your home life, decorating, um, creating an ambiance, okay, um, making things beautiful around you, keeping your energy high. Yeah, this is what I meant by protecting your energy, okay? Because this is coming up over the attachments. A lot of you very well are doing that from this flighty person. You guys could be dealing with a fire sign, okay? Leo, Sag, or Aries here, who is very flighty. Even if they're not in and out your life, maybe they're in your life, but their energy is very on and off, very moody, okay? You can't really put your finger on it. All right, but I don't feel like this affects you in any way. I still feel like you're like, okay, well, you want to be in that mood. I'm good. I'm full of bliss. I feel like birds will be very significant, getting out into nature. All right, um, a, a vineyard, I just heard. Maybe some of you are going to be celebrating um, or maybe just going out with friends, having some wine, wine tasting. What's your appreciation here? Wow, we got the two of cups with the devil here. Yeah, there's some toxic toxic energy going on within a connection, with going on within a um a soulmate connection, okay? Give me one more. Someone is very codependent to you. Um I also have the feeling of fear here. All right, then we have the sun card that came out. Okay, that's Leo energy. We have Leo and Capricorn energy here. Um, some of you could be dealing with one of these signs or you are a Leo or a Capricorn. But I feel like, yeah, there's two different energies here. Like I just said, one of you are in a very high vibing energy, very happy, very um, content. Okay, you're moving forward each day with appreciation in your heart. And there is someone else around you who is very toxic, um, very fear driven. Okay, very docile where you're optimistic here. This person has attached themselves to you successfully. All right. But for a lot of you, I feel like even with this energy coming up, um, you don't let this person waver you, all right? You stay in your, your sun energy. You stay happy. I feel like that's because you're doing the inner work here, all right? You're maintaining yourself, your throne. We have the two of wands at the bottom of the deck, okay? Making a decision to move forward down a new path, down a different path here, which um, I feel like a lot of you will be doing Um and whoever this is around you, they know this. They know that you're headed down a blissful road, um, a successful life. Um, they know the divine is on your side. They know that you meditate and you pray and you put into the atmosphere good energy, okay? They know that about you, so they attach themselves to you. They know you stay in a... Um, a state of appreciation, but they can't do it themselves. So they they feed off of your energy, your high vibing energy here. And you both could also be um, codependent to each other's energy, okay? Even though this person could be in a toxic state, there's something about that that you're drawn to. I hate to say it. Maybe um, that helps you stay balanced. I'm not sure, but you would know your situation. All right. What's the sign with the devil with the two of cups here? I'm going to clarify this here. Wow, we have the sun again. 
Wow, so that's double confirmation. Yeah, there could be two Leos in a connection here. But this person is really trying to get on your level. They're trying to get on your way. They want to become um, appreciative of life and what life has to offer and what life has provided to them thus far. But they are struggling, okay, with the devil card here. We have the queen of pentacles, all right, clarifying the sun card here. Hmm. This person may be, um, this person may be struggling as far as gambling or something in regards to money in their addictions. I feel like they, they are abundant when it comes to money, but they, they trick it off. Okay. They trick it off on some type of habit, addiction, um, something that they can't very much shake. All right. This person could also um, have a bad diet, okay? Eating bad. Um, something along those lines. But with the Two of Cups here and the Devil here, yeah, this is a, a union here that's trying to surpass this Devil energy, this toxicity, all right? Um, but with the Sun coming out twice, I feel like you both are... You both are in the state of happiness, but it's just one who's struggling more than the other, all right? And I feel like the more they feed off your energy, um, the more they, they're able to shake that, but they're afraid to. They're holding on to something very toxic here. Providing romance angels for the collective. Okay, if this is not your partner, this is someone around you, okay? We have children, we have playfulness, and we have engagement. And then romance, romantic feelings here. So your love life is being affected by children, all right? So there could be children here. Um, um, your partner could have a fixation about children or wanting children, and they're not able to have children, okay? For some of you, you may want a child or want children and they are afraid that they cannot give you that. Um, they can't provide that to you. Um, and or these are your own children who are affecting your 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 love life here. There could be a young child who is addicted or battling addiction here that you're, you are trying to nurture and you're trying to be there for them but at the same time you're trying to hold everything else down around you playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit to a uh, fun to shine all right so uh, a lot of you may be in a playful energy with children and playfulness here i'm feeling like a lot of you need to play with your children you need to pay attention to them you need to um, be attentive to their needs, okay? I'm feeling a sense of neglect and maybe they're just needing your love, your affection, your playfulness. Or maybe um, if you have children around you, you are needing to use their their innocent and pure energy to uplift you, okay? For engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, and we have your feelings are real and worth exploring. So for, com for some of you with the two of cups here, you could be meeting someone new. This very well could be something that will ascend to a higher level um, and lead into an engagement. Okay, there's pure romantic feelings here and they're worth exploring. So a lot of you could very well be exploring that with, um, with someone new. All right, especially with the nine of pinnacles here with the two of cups you're very much in the energy of meeting someone new all right additional messages here for the collective additional messages for the collective please don't mind my background y'all please don't mind my background <laughs> all right additional messages here um 
my videos have been a little more lengthy all right um let me know if you guys are okay with that um because i found myself rushing sometimes i do like to keep the videos between like 11 and 15 minutes okay but i found if they go over i'm not gonna stress you know what i mean no stress no pressure all right so we have the grim reaper the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life okay so for a lot of you something needs to come to an end i've been saying this this card's been coming out for a while for the collective you guys are in a situation with a toxic individual that you need to bring to an end or it's coming to an end okay and no second chances no going backwards please we're moving forward here we have coffee shop okay meeting and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted friendship all right a lot of you need to get out you need to go and have some drinks with some friends you know um chit chat talk get some things off of your chest here all right and and savor the moment all right kind of feed off of each other's energy positively all right showing appreciation for things we have keys on a ring many options decisions unconditional steering a oh, string along and one night stand all right so somebody could be having a one night stand somebody's stringing someone along here which makes sense with the devil card here so that's what someone in your energy could be um in fear of you finding out about a third party or about a one night stand okay indoor this is you stringing someone along with this attachment someone has attached themselves to you or you attach yourself to someone else you need to cut the string here especially if you don't want to move forward with this person in a um in a union or in a relationship you're just stringing this person along no cut the cord collective cut the cord move forward we have the chariot here forward movement it's time time to go 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 all right so I'm going to leave it there. I hope this helps. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. I love you. <laughs> Ashe.